What's up guys? Welcome back. Just got back from getting some supplies for today's build and today's build actually won't be car related. It will be shop related. So show you a quick little preview of what I got here and what I plan to do with it. And that is to build a workbench. Currently, as you can see, have room to work on cars and store junk, but no room to, you know, work on more tedious projects, I guess you could say. So I'm planning on building it in this corner over here, which this corner looks terrible right now, but it won't take long to clean up. So I also have to patch this hole in the wall there. Uh, so I bought some board to do that. And the workbench I plan on building is going to be a slight wrap around there. It's going to stop about a foot shy of the shelves there so I can keep my welder where it's at. But also have, you know, two different sides to work on. So all of this here should cover that. I don't know. I'm no carpenter, so I kind of just guessed at, well, not really guessed. I mean, I definitely did some measuring and stuff, but we'll see if I got it right in the first go around bought that stuff as a tabletop material we'll see how it turns out i'm gonna lay a piece of metal on top of it eventually anyways for my welding but as of right now we got to get that corner cleaned up so i can get started so let's get right to that guys So got some room for a workbench now. Off camera, I went ahead and installed a little power outlet down here. Uh, the wires were already ran, just need the outlet itself. So up next, we're gonna measure some more wood to patch this hole here. And after that gets done, I'm gonna nail up some more of that whiteboard I have, like on the other side of my shop over there. Wanna get that nailed up first before we start building a workbench over there and it's too late, so. Here we go. see my little patch panels worked out pretty well got that gap right there but I really think it's that previous board was cut with a real bad curve doesn't look like I helped the situation but it works about to get covered with some white board anyways um, I also went ahead and removed that box there uh, capped off the wires I'm just gonna cover over it with my white panel I think it's a little redundant especially when I have two more right there I can always just add power strips if I want to and I took off a shelf right there. So now I got my full working space ready to go. About to start hanging some whiteboard, get the floor a quick sweep and keep going.
so I'm at a stopping point here, uh, getting ready to move on to the next stage, which is going to be actually starting some woodwork here. So I got enough panels up that's going to cover where the workbench goes, and I have some more of that white strip right there that I will be putting to cover the screws and the gap there, but I didn't want to do that yet because I want to screw some wood directly to that, and I wanted it to be flush. So if I had that channel going all the way up, uh, it would be interfering with where I need to screw the wood. So I'm going to screw the wood on first, and then I'll come back and do that trim later. So we'll get started with the actual workbench build now. So here we go. difficult than I first imagined uh, doing it by myself but I got to this point and I, I knew something was up it was, wasn't really square at all and I realized I forgot to cut a little bit off this piece and I'd cut this piece right here the one that's missing obviously I cut it too short uh, just miscalculation on my part and of course I don't have a piece of wood now long enough so I have to go get one more so when I get that, I'll get that slapped on. I'm also going to go ahead and add another center section of 4 by 4s here. That's something I didn't account for, but I can just tell now the length it is that it'll need that additional support. So get one more 4 by 4 another 2 by 6 and we'll be ready for the tabletop. All right, well, it's a new day. I've got my new piece of wood to cut, but... Quickly just wanted to show you I kind of slid the workbench in place and on camera it makes it look really small but in person it, it looks fine I, I think it'll be just what I need um, went ahead and installed another 4x4 right there so I robbed it from right here so when I add this piece of last piece of wood here I'll add another one parallel to this one and then replace that one I stole for right there but otherwise from that corner to here is eight foot, and from that corner to here is five foot. And I chose to make it two foot deep, so plenty of workspace. And I didn't want it to take up this entire side of my shop, so I think it think it's turned out pretty good. So let's get these last pieces of wood cut and get this baby finished up.
Well guys, here she is in her semi-complete form. I still gotta screw the tabletop down to the rest of the table and probably tidy up a few little things. But for the most part, here she is. Uh, <laughs> kind of seems like I overbuilt it maybe, but I guess she's you know, better to overbuild than underbuild. Again, I'm no carpenter, kind of made this up in my head, did it the way, you know, thought it should be done, but it turned out pretty nice, you know. All this is flush. I'm definitely glad I went with two by sixes instead of two by fours, you know, in case I ever want to screw some kind of mount or something to that. Got plenty of area there. But as you can see, I mean, it's, to me, plenty of work area, and it's, you know, made the best use of this corner of the shop, I feel like. Got my welder right there, so this will really be like my welding section, you know. I'll probably mount a bench top vise somewhere around here, you know. Maybe have a stand-up drill press here or something like that. But it's a much needed workspace, so I'm, I'm glad I got this done. Glad it turned out pretty good. To me, my eyes, some of these legs look a little less than straight, but you know, it's fine. There's a lot of weight pressing down. And I do plan on putting probably a 3 8 inch thick or maybe a quarter inch thick. I mean, solid piece of steel up there to weld on and stuff, kind of make the table even more robust. So that's kind of why I have all the supporting legs there to hold all the future weight. But I may add some cabinets up there. I definitely want to get some more light on this side. But if I do cabinets, I may just put lights underneath it or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. The main thing was getting this area to work on. So that's done. And really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It took, <laughs> took longer than I thought it would. Of course, a stupid measuring mistake cost me two days because I wasn't able to get to the store to get that other piece of wood. But it's done now. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you liked it. If you want to see more videos, just click that subscribe button down below. Tell your friends about the channel. And until next time, guys, just wing it.